I'm extremely frustrated today. I read in the paper yesterday that teachers have asked for their children before they walk into school to be sprayed in disinfectant. And then I also read in the paper that when trials start to happen again, we will also be sprayed in disinfectant before we are allowed to fly. And then when we get on an aeroplane, we will also be sprayed once again. Then we will also have to wash our hands in hand sanitizer. The world has lost the plot. The world has completely forgotten, or probably maybe doesn't even understand, about our immune systems. And what we're doing right now is not gonna kill a virus, but it's gonna kill you because we're gonna create lots and lots of chronic health problems that is what is going to happen and it is frustrating me so much because nobody can see what they are doing to their human health spraying someone with disinfectant is not going to kill a virus but what it is going to do is weaken your immune system and when you have a weak immune system you will then create chronic health problems there has been many studies proven just by using things like bleach and all of these Dettols and all of these things that we have in our household to keep things clean creates autoimmune diseases. I know one person who developed multiple sclerosis because they were huge. It is dangerous to our health. It creates cancer. It creates eczema. It creates psoriasis. It creates lots and lots of health problems. And this is my worry for humans right now because you're so scared of a virus, but about the future implications on your health are made up of more bacteria than human cells. And in order to have health, we need to have good bacteria. So when you wash your hands in these hand sanitizing gels that are full of an alcohol, and some of them triclosan as well, it's cancer, you are destroying your good gut microbes. And those good gut microbes are what keep you safe from a virus and also chronic illnesses. And this is frustrating the life out of me because every time you put them in your hands, you are weakening your immune system. Every time you spray yourself, if you spray your child when they go into school with Dettol or disinfectant, you are destroying that child's immune system and you are making them develop problems with their health. And I am scared for human health right now and not because of the viruses, because you're using all this toxic stuff on your skin. It's destroying you. You're thinking you're doing yourself some good right now by using these things on your skin, but you're not. You're wiping out your good gut microbes and your immunity lies within your gut. So when you destroy that, you have destroyed your immune system. And these teachers who are asking for their children to be sprayed with, with detergents and disinfectants before they get into a classroom. What about these children who have autoimmune diseases? What about these children who have asthma? This is going to have serious implications. All of these things that we've been told right now is killing us. All of these cleaning products as well contain xenoestrogens. And when they get into your body, these xenoestrogens create estrogen dominance. And when you have estrogen dominance, you create cancer. Chemicals that you are inhaling right now because you think you're being safe and clean are destroying your health. And my advice for you right now is to stop being so overly clean and think about how you can actually put some goods into your gut because that is what is going to protect you from a virus as well as health problems, implications in the future. You need to have good bacteria and all you're doing right now is destroying it, you're wiping it out and you're creating hot, following the things that your immune system actually needs to be healthy. Well as those nasty chronic illnesses that can kill you, especially cancer. So my advice to you right now, if you really, really want to understand about health and how to stay safe through this difficult time, is to increase your good microbes in your gut. Also need to make sure that you're having enough vitamin D because vitamin D is a powerful immune booster. So please make sure you're getting outside to get some sunshine if you're able to see it. And if you're not, you need to be supplementing with vitamin D3 and K2 to support your immune system. Your system here, guys, is what is going to protect you from a virus from all these future health implications. And all that I can see right now is we are destroying it. So next time you think about washing your hand in hand sanitizers or, or cleanliness, let's think about that immune system, what you're doing to it. You're gonna create an immune response and these immune responses can also create autoimmunity. I myself have had one, so it's not a nice place to go to. Please think about your health here. I understand right now that parents are concerned about their children going back to school and quite rightly so, 
but please stop thinking about being overly clean and think about getting those good microbes into their guts as well because those children are at risk here of immune systems and you are going to be destroying their little immunities. So I know you're thinking you're doing a really great job by now by keeping them safe and keeping them clean, but you're not. You need to be giving them probiotics. You need to be giving them high dose. You need to be giving them a good diet, lots of fruits and vegetables too. The same as what you would do for yourself if you're following everything that I teach you to do. You've got to be looking after these good microbes. Antibiotics destroy them. Vaccinations destroy them. for these child's immunities because in today's new world, mums are now being told to have vaccinations before the baby is born. Then the baby gets born maybe by C-section. Then the baby might not be breastfed. Then the baby is pumped with vaccination. Then the baby might have to go on antibiotics. And a child's immune system does not develop until it's three years old. So before they even get to three, you've just wiped out their immunity. And this is why there are so many health problems happening in young ages now because of the microbiome. It all comes down to your gut microbes. So those critical times are from birth to three and before you get to three, you've just lost your immunity. And now we're being overly clean. It's just creating so many future problems. And please take care of your immune system, guys. And remember this, you are made of more bacteria than human cells. And if you're not putting that good bacteria into your gut and if you are just destroying it and losing it you're destroying your immune system and when you destroy your immune system you are then going to create illness and you are more likely to develop awful things like the COVID-19 or even worse cancer. Please look after your immune system guys and please switch off the news and stop being driven by fear because that's all that they're, they're creating right now. What you need to be looking into is what can I actually do to keep my immune system healthy because everything that they're promoting and telling us to do on the news and in papers is all a load of BS that's in the media because the media does not care about your immune health. The media does not care at all, but I care. And this is really, really concerning me that everyone is just freaking out and just not one second stop thinking about the COVID and think about autoimmune diseases, think about cancer, think about autism, think about Alzheimer's, think about Parkinson's disease, think about all of these chronic illnesses that we are under attack with. Everything comes down to your gut microbes and it's the same for COVID because if you don't have those good gut microbes, you can't fight it off. So think about this, think about your immune system, think about your good microbes. This is what I need you to do right now. So stop being over the clean, stop freaking out with fear and just take care of your immune system. So that's all I'm asking you to do right now. And I really hope and pray that some good will come out of this.